Many of the advances in ski technology have been driven by competitive racing. And no nation has been more dominant in ski racing than Austria, a country that has won the World Cup Nations Cup every year since 1990. Although the U.S. hasn't had the success of Austria, there are a few exceptions, most notably Darren Rawls. Darren is one of the most decorated ski racers in U.S. history. With multiple World Cup titles under his belt, Darren has enjoyed many victories in Austria. When you have success somewhere, for sure, it feels good. It's a great town. It's a small little town. It has a lot of uh, history, skiing, culture. Skiing is a lifestyle over here. In America, it's more of a sport. But over here, people grow up, like, living to ski. Two years after his retirement from World Cup racing, Darren Rawls loaded a bus with fat skis and headed into the Austrian Alps to finally ski all the mountains he once only raced on. From St. Anton to Lech to Krippenstein to Kitzbühel. There's a lot of skiing around Austria, way more than you could ever imagine. This is where it started. Everything's pretty much been spread all over the world from this little area. It's pretty cool. I spent so much time just chasing gates and all these races. Now I get to come out and explore these mountains I've seen like driving around for the last 11 years over here on the World Cup. Hundreds of years ago, skiing was primarily a mode of transportation in the Alps. The only way to get from village to village was to ski it. I can only imagine what those people would think if they could see Darren free ski these mountains now. Free skiing, you do compete against yourself and, and the mountain. It's not really competing against others at the clock. It's a different way. Of, I'm trying to still ski fast down the hills, but uh, you want to try and like, you know, play with the mountain. The only like things I'm not used to is being on something that's steep and it falls away on both sides, and you got some rocks in the mix and, and uh, some snow that you're not really 100% sure about. Being the starting gate and being on top of a mountain are pretty similar because it's the moment you have where you're clearing your head and you have it all visualized. It's just time for you to perform and play it on the line. It's just the new rush, the new thing I'm looking for. It's, it still makes me feel alive, and I love putting on my ski boots every day and having experiences like this. To truly appreciate these mountains, you need to see them for yourself. It's days like this that make Darren realize that the best runs in Austria don't always have podiums at the finish. Next on Season Pass, the ultimate big mountain experience, Alaska.